if I had followed. On April 12, 1980, Terry Fox began his brave trek from St. John's, Newfoundland to the West Coast, aimed at raising awareness for the most deadly disease in the world. 143 days later, he surrendered his run to lung cancer after raising $1.7 million. A little closer to home, his memory lives on with the annual Terry Fox Run. For one, it's worldwide now. It's, it's, it's gone beyond Canada and they've raised millions towards uh, cancer research. So obviously they've helped millions of, millions of people. Over the past 33 years, the Terry Fox Run has become a global phenomenon, garnering hundreds of millions towards cancer research. This year, 42 entries came through in Fort St. John to help continue that tradition. The runners met at Northern Lights College with either the 1K, 5K or 10K distance to choose from. One of this year's entries is Joanne Carter, who's never missed a run over the past three decades. You have to take part. You have to help out. It doesn't matter if it's just a $5 or $10 donation. Coming out and taking part, even if you don't have the money to make a donation, be part of it. On her shirt are the photographic memories of the loved ones she's lost to cancer, including her mother and father, sisters and friends. But it goes beyond just the fight against cancer. Somebody who has a kidney disease should be out taking part in kidney awareness and fundraising. You have to focus on what's important to you, but do take part in it. That's the key thing, not just letting any disease lie. The total amount raised this year was $1,555 in Fort St. John, well over the $278 raised last year. Of that, 84% will go directly towards cancer research. Mitch Bach, CJDC-TV News, Fort St. John.